Today, we released unkey.dev, a way for you to create, manage, and validate API keys so that you can keep your API safe and secure. So here we are on the unkey.dev website. As you can see, it's an open source API key management solution that allows you to create, manage, and validate your API keys for any user that you have. We've built this with security and of course speed in mind. So let me just talk about a few features and show you a quick demo. So here is the dashboard, as you can see right now, this is your API section. So this could be any of your APIs that live here. In the top right hand corner, you have an API ID, which we can talk about in a second, a way to create a new key, delete the entire API, and you can see the keys that you have. So here, here is your key. This is only shown once once you create it, when it was created, when it expires, if you're using our expirations, the owner of the key. So we have two owners here and then rate limiting if you've got that enabled. So how does it work? Basically, just sign up for an account. You can click the button at the top, start building. Once you've signed up for an account, you can create keys in the dashboard or you can use the API, which I'll show you in a second. And then you get to verify your users as part of your API authorization. One of the key features here is that we make sure that the keys are distributed globally, just like your users. So you don't have to worry about whether you're making a request in France or you're making a request in San Francisco, India, China, wherever we have the ability to globally distribute them. So making the request as fast as possible. We also offer per key rate limiting. So for example, if you had a rate limit by normal, let's say it's a hundred requests every 10 seconds, that's usually a blanket rate limit. In our case, we wanted to give you the ability to rate limit the specific keys that you have based upon whatever you decide. So if it's a paid user that's an enterprise user, maybe they need a thousand requests every 10 seconds, whereas a hobby user that doesn't pay you any money, maybe they only get 10 every second and you can control all of that as part of this platform. We also offer temporary keys, which I just talked about as the expiration. So if you want to give out a week's trial for something, you can do that with our expiration dates. Set it to an expiration date. We'll go ahead and delete the key as soon as that expiration is up. We've got other things coming soon. Usage analytics is the next thing. And then finally, here are all the users that are using it right now. As of this recording, which we soft launched the day before, we have 97 workspaces, 53 APIs, and 44 keys that have been distributed. We're obviously completely open source, so you can click this button right here, give us a star, and also see all of the code behind for your own review. So let's start using the project. Go ahead and click Start Building here. You're going to land up on our sign up page. You can go ahead and sign in or sign up. You can use GitHub, Google, or you can use your email. If you use the email flow, which I'll just show off, you'll get entered a six digit code, which will be sent to whoever's email address it may be. So in my case, it's just mine. So let me just go ahead and open that. And of course we have ways to retry that as well, but let me just type in my new code in this box right here. It's gonna be 820016. When you click verify code, you're going to be dumped onto a screen for workspaces. So let's call this James's test workspace and we can delete this later and my co-founder won't be mad at me we'll drop this in here and click create you'll get dropped into your api section right here which is this workspace apis this is where you get to manage and create apis so for example this api could be production api we'll just leave it as that and we click create here it will create this API and now we have the similar screen that you saw before. It's a bit zoomed in because obviously I've zoomed it in for recording, but now you can start working in this space. So if you wanna create a key, all you do is click create key. We slide in this screen here. You give it a prefix. This just allows you to distinguish between your APIs. So for example, if you have a paid tier and a free tier, maybe you have free and paid so that you can distinguish that during your requests or you can just leave it as production or key, whatever it is. Uh, and then you set how many bytes you want the key to be by default it's 16. So we could change this to 32. Then you set yourself an owner. So I'm gonna own this key. So we'll call it James. Then you get the option of enabling rate limiting or enabling expiration, or you can just leave them disabled. That's entirely up to you. Uh, what I do have to do is move myself again. So let's put me up here out the way. 
And now we have the option. So we can click enable expiration and it will give you a calendar here or you can just type in the date. So let's make this expire at the end of the month. And we'll also enable rate limiting here, which comes down and we'll just say it's uh, five and the refill rate will be uh, two in five, 50 seconds. When you click create, you'll be dumped into this screen right here, which I can just move myself back down here now. You can see that you get given the key. This is the API key that you need to give to your user, store it somewhere, wherever it might be, it needs to be safe. And then you get this command here, which allows you to verify this key. So if we head over to a terminal and then we paste this in and hit enter, as you can see, you get back valid is true and the owner ID is James. So those are two important pieces that we need. One is, is it valid? If it's false, then you shouldn't allow them to access the resource they're trying. And this owner ID allows you to do things such as make sure people aren't sharing APIs. You can also validate against other features. So maybe you're using an auth system. Maybe you need this to be a user ID that you can check. So if we continue to make requests to this and a uh, fairly quickly, you'll notice that there is now error, false and rate limited. And this is because we've rate limited this customer because that's the rate limiting that we set. So we can continue to try and make requests now and then we'll just keep getting rate limited. So that talks about this screen. Obviously, if you ever need to revoke it because the user is abusive, there's a little three dots here, click that, click revoke, delete that permanently and that key can no longer be used. So if we go back to here, you can see now valid false error key not found. So obviously this key no longer exists. So the user can't access the resources. Now we need to talk about a couple of other features. So outside of that, you can delete your API at any point, but more importantly, you can create these API keys right from our API. And it gives you a unkey, which is up here. So if I take this curl request here and copy it, could have just clicked right there, and we go back to warp and we paste this in, what it's gonna do is by default, it's gonna give you the latest API ID in here, and then it's gonna give you a prefix too. So we could set this to key, and if I hit enter here, it's going to give you a brand new API key. So we've created a brand new API key now. So if I close this screen and go to APIs, go to my production API, you can see now that this key here is just been created right now, which is the brand new key that I just created. And if I go ahead and make another one, just for fun. And then we come back here and we refresh. You'll see there's another key that's just been created, brand new here, I can select these. They don't have any owners, rate limits or expirations, but with the API, you can do that. So let's talk about that next. So if we go to our documentation here and we zoom in because the doc's gonna be zoomed out and you go to our API reference and you click on keys and create key. You can now create these keys based upon this curl request on this side. So if I copy this curl request, we drop it back in here. We can talk about everything that happens. So to use this, all you need is your unkey. So you can just drop your unkey right in here. And then you get to set all of these pieces of information. So for example, we need the API ID to match the actual one. We're gonna set it at that, but we'll set the byte size a bit higher. Let's say it's a uh, 64. We'll make the owner James dash P. We're gonna leave some metadata in there that you can then verify against. And then we just need this expiration date. I'm gonna delete this out. And then we have our rate limit here, which is a rate limit of 10. The refill rate is one every thousand milliseconds. And if we hit enter now, we get this really long key, longer than the normal ones. And if we go back to our dashboard here and hit refresh, you'll see that there's this new key that's owned by me and has a rate limit of one in one second. And we can actually use this now and validate this key. So to validate again, it is in our documentation, but if I just scroll up a couple, go to verify and drop this key in and hit enter, you'll get valid is true, the owner is me. And now we have this new field here called metadata. So you can put things in this metadata to allow you to make decisions based upon API requests. For example, maybe they're a paid tier, 
business tier, enterprise customer, whatever you might need to put in here to allow you to make more business decisions, we give you that flexibility. Outside of that, of course, everything is really API driven. Even though I really, really love the dashboard, you can verify your keys using that verify. And finally, you can delete the keys through this API. All you need to do is send a delete request with the key ID in the, the URL with your unkey as the header. So there you have it, complete API key management in seconds. If you did make it to the end of this video and you haven't seen any of my other ones, click right here. It'll be algorithm driven. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. If you're not subscribed, click right here. Check the link in the description. Unkey is right there, along with the open source project. Everything will be linked there. And until the next one, see ya.